At the end of my last video on making a pipe roller, I said something like, Watch this space to see it in action. Oh foolish me! Little did I know what was around the corner, around the curve. I had aimed to roll some long lengths of pipes for making a polytunnel wood drying room. Well of course the first problem is the barn is way too low to do that. A pipe is six meters long so it would hit the ceiling as it curved. I need to take the pipe roller outside, obviously, because the sky around here is very tall. The machine is really heavy though, and that's okay, I have trolleys which run easily on tracks, except the tracks only go to the front of the barn, which doesn't help much. So I made a new length of track, dug up the ground outside the front of the barn, and set the new track into the new trench. I have learned that keeping things level across the tracks is very important, otherwise the wheels might just wander off sideways, which is no good. And then I mixed up some concrete to keep it all in place. This extension to the track should make life much easier when it comes to loading logs for the sawmill, so it was something I wanted to get round to anyway. I left the gaps in the concrete for the water to move past. I don't want to make a dam across the yard. Anyway, that all went well, though someone left their footprints all over it overnight. I wonder who that was. Now I have a 15 inch gauge railway that is 150 feet long and it can bring the pipe roller outside. So that's what it did. At this point I thought I'd be clever and make a ring to fit onto the handle of the pipe roller to make it easier to turn. And I had some pipe the right length too and immediately things started going wrong. Instead of a nice straight curve it turned into a spiral. Turn the handle. As you saw in the last video, the machine can roll pipe correctly. So what is going on here? Hmm. I was thinking it was a combination of too much play in the mechanism combined with too much weight in the pipe. It only takes a little to have the pipe leaning over sideways and that pushed the wheels out of alignment which caused the pipe to roll in an ever increasing corkscrew. Perhaps if I had been able to support the end, then it wouldn't have happened. The pipe rolled into a circle fine, it's just that the ends didn't line up. When I tried to fix them, I just made things much worse because I added bends in places there weren't bends before. I'm embarrassed to show you this, but at least you can learn from my mistakes. Don't do what I just did.
Eventually, though, I wrestled the ring onto the handle and welded it all up quick before it could escape. And I think it will make it easier to use this machine and the corrugating iron machine. Though it's, <laughs> it's enormous and it's probably a little over the top. But what about the basic problem? I don't want to make corkscrews every time. I decided I needed to tighten up the mechanism somehow. There's just too much play in all the parts that move. So I made spacers so the bearings couldn't wander about too much. And that didn't help. I thought it needs guides that keep the pipe in line as the pipe enters and leaves the frame. This is what I came up with. A bracket with holes in and the holes take vertical pipes. I made pairs of holes so I can accommodate different width pipes. Now because these are tall they should support the pipe even as it becomes more curved and they keep the pipe and the dies in one straight line right through the machine from one side to the other. So it should work, shouldn't it? <laughs> Except it didn't. Hmm, it was all getting a bit miserable. What am I doing wrong? Why can't I get this to work? Everything seems to be in the right place and doing what it's supposed to do, but it's not working. And then the answer came to me. It's not working because it can't work. I'm trying to do something that's not actually possible. The pipe weighs such a lot that when it's held at just one end, there's just too much leverage on the part that's being gripped. The pipe bends because it's not strong enough to support itself. It's not the fault of my dive wheels or the bearings or the alignment or the tolerances. The pipe can't support itself over that length, it's just too heavy. I should have built the machine on its side. So the pipe stays horizontal and can be supported somehow all along its length. A horizontal pipe rolling machine. Hmm, <laughs> that's what I'm going to try next everybody. Wish me luck.